Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 16 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to add all the materials and we added some um, decorative pieces like, um, like all those bushes right there. Um, now we're gonna continue working on this and I wanna concentrate on adding all those vegetation. Um, so now let's go back right here and select and here um, we need to go actually to populate. I want to add some foliage, maybe paint. I'm gonna do paint instead or actually scatter because we have a lot here that I just want to scatter the grass first. Um, I'm going to use long grass and then select that. The size is good enough and then just just selecting this and check all the, the details. So now let's just click here, maybe lawn, let's use this, select this and select this scatter uh, tool and just click it. I don't like the background here, which is this one, so I'm gonna undo this first and then here let's go back to material ground nature and then the grass i think it's better to have this one right here and then just go back to populate scatter and then go to nature um, vegetation grass and let's use long grass instead this one and select this one then just continue clicking it and then obviously it's gonna go over and then we're gonna mix it up with some rocks and those kind of stuff here I'm gonna put some rocks here and then let's change the speed to number four because we have a lot here. And then the others, we just need to select all of those and it will populate. Because this ones are different batches. Even this one, so something that we, we did. We have different topo surface when we're creating this, and then I think that is good enough on others. Um, some of this um, we're going to hide by using um, rocks, so we have something like this a little bit small we can resize this I'll click on shifting it and pushing it back something like that it and then just pushing it a little bit there there just adding a little bit of those would 
greatly give a nice detail on our drawing. here as well but uh, we need to remove some onto uh, this area so let's change this diameter right here there we go just cleaning it up this again onto this spots actually let's not do that anymore because it's going all over the place and we need to have I don't want to do some cleanup anymore but it's up to you if you want to do that just too much of that there and then here because there is luminance the light fixtures those colors needs to be to a different temperature Let's add in the lights. So let's add lights right here, and then we're gonna add spotlight, uh, spotlight right here. Pull it up, and then let's change the intensity to five only, and then temperature a little bit. And just add it and then three times there we go and then add here as well five and 
and then the color temperature to something around 3000 Just quickly add all of this right here. Right there. And then on the top as well. for the color temperature so that's added there and then another spotlight for this and same idea copy it and then copy it here I'm just gonna push it back a little bit And then let's look at it and how it reflects so as you can see it looks nice I'm probably going to add one more at the back right here or probably inside the house just to give it some um, light there so could use this one as well copy it like that and then just push it back here we could just add the light and then here, this is 5 and then the temperature put it down and then now once we have it as you can see this one looks good we have some lights there and then inside So now, oops, what we can do is to add the trees at the back. So let's go to ve vegetation and let's look for a tree that we want. So this one looks really good. I like the way this one is. So I'm going to quickly add everything up. We can definitely do scatters and um, paint this but for now I'm gonna use this so that I have more control and I could add a little bit more as you can see by just adding a little bit more it looks really good now and then here we could change the age we could definitely make some bigger and smaller So at least 
means we have some changes in heights and because we have this one right here and we're going to add some something right here in the front so that it could bounce into our window and give us a good reflection there we go um, let's add in some cars you could use this and just rotate it just the only problem that we are having is once we're adding the car it's actually rotating back and I'm just going to manually do it there we go I think that's good enough we have the car and then we could push it back a little bit more let's do that so that there we go yeah so as you can see that looks good um, we could add one big tree here so why not add a bigger tree on, on this side um, for the age I think this is good enough to save it once in a while and I could actually push this one a little bit at the back and just sliding it on the side that's good enough I want to see how it looks so let's check and that one really looks good so I'm gonna put in in high resolution higher render rate and the balance of the lights are really good even the ones that are inside it's giving more um, better looks for us okay I'm happy with that this one let's make it maybe 10 okay so 10 on that I just wanted to see it much better and when we create an image we're gonna create it like that 
and we still with this way having all of this we have a lot of things that are looking good so now we're gonna create our videos so with that let's go to uh, media we're gonna create the image so here we're gonna select our image first so you should even start in the front so something like that click image and then create another one and then create image again and then here create image as well and then after that make sure to turn on in high or whatever settings you want and then refresh it and then here as well and then refresh it and you want to make sure you're in high or whatever settings you are in um, you can change the exposure as you can see you can add it more if you want to push it back a little bit I'm gonna push it back a little bit refresh it and then put it again there so it's a lot easier for you to see the changes that you created okay and then after this um, I want another one actually right here but I want to put this one back first before going to change here um, I want to go to camera and then focal length to have it like that so bigger more zoom image select that and then put it in in path tracer so you're just turning on the path tracer here and then you can create a duplicates as well so let's create a duplicate of this but instead with a different environment so weather wise and then I'm going to refresh this and then we still have the other one saved properly this one is snowing this one is regular and then maybe another one another duplicate um, this one is raining and then just save it again 
and let's go we quit media and then here we're gonna start our video so let's go to video and then here we're gonna start it from here um, I want to go select that go front click here let's make it seven seconds I want this view going here and then going here that's 10 seconds that's fine just a, a quick forward maybe like a four second then here going up six seconds so still image or maybe just going down a little bit Can put it at four seconds. And here and going across. That's seven seconds. a little bit with a different angle we put it at four seconds and then now going out that could be seven seconds and then here as well or make it on this side now okay, let's just leave it like this go back and then here we're, we're going to just put it at five seconds and then go back here and you can duplicate this and then rename the other one so real and then the other one should be shorts And then here we're going to change to custom. This is 700 by 1000. You can double check here. Everything looks good I'm happy with that you can save this now and then once you save go to export and then select everything so go here all viewable uh, all videos and then images select all as well and then once everything is selected click export and then just save it to the location that you want to 
I'm going to put it right here and save it. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.